that does happen. I've seen errors before, but the bank is pretty good at it. So they don't often make an error. What happens a lot more often is that there's transactions on the bank that we have to record. And that's the case with, of course, these two transactions here, the 80 and the 2. 80 represents something that maybe we went to the bank and took a withdrawal and never came home and recorded that or to the office and recorded that withdrawal. And therefore, obviously, it came out of our checking account. Therefore, it should be reducing our checking account. It is reducted, reduced from the bank's side. We haven't recorded it on our side. Or something like bank charges if we got a, um, if we bought checks or if we just uh, had a non-sufficient fund charge, something like that, then, of course, the bank will just take it out of our account. We wouldn't even know about it. Then we don't know about it until we get the bank statement and say, oh, okay, they took, you know, in this case, $2 for just service charges that we're going to have to reduce from our side. Also note that if we're a small company, as some small companies may do a lot of stuff basically on a debit card or even individuals may do a lot of stuff on a debit card and actually record it monthly, meaning they're going to get the bank statement, look at all the charges they have made and basically record the, the transactions from the bank statement to uh, the, the books in that fashion. Now, the other side of it is if we have something on our books that's not on the bank statement, such as these three items here, so we have these two checks and this item, this deposit, then that difference is probably due to timing differences, meaning we wrote these checks clearly and we made that deposit, but they have not yet cleared the bank. The bank hasn't had time to process those because these happened uh, these two checks have to once again get picked up by the uh, recipient of the check and they have to deposit it and then tell our bank the deposit should take one to two days but this was deposited on february 28th so what we're going to do is we're going to say okay here's these two checks if we're concerned about them then what we want to do is call the bank maybe because note when we're doing this process it's going to be even though it's as of the 28th of february it's going to be sometime in March because obviously we got the statement sometime in March. And uh, so we can call the bank. We can say, hey, bank, or go online and say, hey, uh, did these two checks clear sometime in March? And if they did, that's what we would expect. And we say, OK, we're just going to record that that's a that's a difference. That's a timing difference. We're good. Same with this deposit. We're getting it's sometime in February. Now we can call the bank if, we, if we're concerned about it and say, I would expect this deposit to have cleared sometime between you know before march 3rd uh, is that the case if it is then as of this time period we just record that as the timing difference 